night, I used to look outside the window and I could swear I see people in the trees and I call my friends and go, hey, check it out. There's someone out there, man. There's somebody out there. My friends would tell me, you need to get some sleep. One of the common side effects of meth use over time is paranoia or unreasonable fear. But I'd like to hear your stories about paranoia. What have you guys experienced? Looking out of keyholes for hours and hours and hours, convinced that there were people walking by my door, hearing voices coming out of a shower head. When we blast our brains with meth over time and go without sleep, we may experience what's called meth psychosis. We feel paranoid and afraid as meth stimulates the emotional center of the brain. We see things that aren't real as meth affects the visual cortex. And in the part of the brain that processes sound, we hear things that don't exist. We have a more primitive part of the brain. It's known as the lower brain, the limbic system. It helps us feel appropriate sense of fear. No organism could live without being afraid when it's appropriate because sometimes you have to flee from an enemy, you have to stand and fight, and you have to react instinctively. This part of the brain, this lower brain, is especially stimulated by methamphetamine use, by stimulant use. So now what was a natural fear response becomes an unnatural fear response when there's nothing in the environment to really be afraid of. My paranoia was so terrible that I used to uh, put on a bulletproof vest and a sort of shotgun and go outside thinking somebody was out there. I had paranoia that I thought would never stop. I was afraid to take a shower. I was afraid to, I was afraid to do anything. I kept thinking that everyone was in a conspiracy to kill me, regardless of where I was at. Initially, I thought, it would stop after I detoxed, but it didn't. Even after we stop using, some of us have brief flashbacks of paranoia and hallucinations. These symptoms fade as the brain heals, showing just how much meth changed our brains. This is a reminder that addiction is a brain disorder, not a moral failing.